up? Black Ice is coming at you with another one. Right now, I am out here at the spillway. Um, it's a pretty nice little scene, man. You see traffic. You see the traffic coming through up here. And uh, see the water right here at the spillway. My GoPro case is about to blow away. But uh, we're not going to edit that out. <laughs> anyway, I am here to do a review of my newest lid which is the Rurock Atlas 4.0 man you know when the 3.0s came out there was a lot of flack about these Rurocks about how they didn't do this and didn't do that I mean those of you that have Rurocks know um, Pretty much no, no good. But um, they listened to the people that came out with this 4.0, Atlas 4.0, and different designs. I went with the red, of course, with the red and black theme. I got a lot of graphics on my other helmet, so I just wanted to keep this one kind of simple. And uh, let me tell you, man, this Rur Rock is banging. Um, where to begin with this thing, man? Just the look of it, first of all. The look of it is clean and dope. Uh, I like how the uh, visor sits. Uh, it's a very mean and aggressive look. So that's a big plus right there out the gate. Um, let me turn this thing over to the pads. Uh, see the pads are real nice in here uh, very easy to remove too I'm not going to remove them right now but they are very easy to remove um, they're very comfortable right here in this part if you wanted to you could add bluetooth to it and that's where the bluetooth would go your controls and all that would go right here and of course your bluetooth would sit on the side uh, this helmet is dot and ece certified so that's another good that's another plus uh the strap is a magnet uh, you pull this cord here and it releases but it's not really a hook it's a it's magnetized so bear with me <laughs> bear with me here losing my grip on everything but we're not gonna edit that out either we got we got to keep it 100 with you guys all right here we go there's the strap strap hooks in like so and it'll it will hook up if i can do it with my let me try my other hand because i can't do it with this hand There we go, it hooks like that. Real simple, and real simple to uh, release. Just pull that. The strap is nice and snug. Uh, it has several little catch areas for your visor. Let's see here. I should have put it on the stand, but it is what it is. Several different holding areas for the visor. You've got to stop right there, stop right there, and then all the way closed. So, um, but man, I love this thing. This is helmet number seven for me, and I'm already looking at helmet number eight, uh, which will also be a Rurock Atlas 4.0. I'm actually looking at the. Uh, there is a, a ruby carbon. I think I stepped in the ant bed. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I think I stepped in the ant bed. Ants are te something's tearing my foot up. But anyway, um, 
the Atlas 4.0 Ruby Red Carbon Fiber Edition is what I'm looking at next. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think seven might be enough. <laughs> seven might be enough. But I, I do have two more slots on my little helmet rack, so you know, we'll see. <laughs> but man, for real, I love this helmet. This helmet is dope with a capital D. I give it four stars for comfort and the overall look and aesthetic of it. Um, I have the black visor on. It came with two visors. It came with a clear and this black visor. I also got the uh, anti-fog in there. So uh, it's real cool to ride at night. I don't ride a whole lot at night, but if I happen to ride at night, I can still use this helmet. It'd be cool. Uh, it's very lightweight. I know people say it's kind of heavy, but it's, it's lightweight to me. So, uh, but yeah, it's just gonna be a quick one, man. And uh, I love, like I said, I love this helmet. And I'm out here chilling at the spillway on this beautiful day man finally got a day off finally and uh it's beautiful out here it's a little windy about it's straight up 70 degrees about a 15 mile per hour wind so it is a beautiful day as you can see traffic's flowing and i'm about to be flowing with this traffic so uh thank you guys for tuning in hope you like it i tried to keep it rough rugged and raw for y'all <laughs> mistakes and all but uh if you like any of my videos if you like the channel man please do me a favor and hit that like button smash that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you will know when future videos are coming this is a pretty quick one man so i'm out uh once again thank you guys for tuning in and as always, watch out for that black ice on the road. Arrington all day. Deuces! Hey, y'all see that boat? people out here watching hey what's up black ice is coming at you with another one right now I'm at a uh, Riverwalk Park pretty close to where we got married and uh you saw the boat just come through there's another boat out there in the distance i don't know if you can see it or not but but what you can see is carnage that 2020 can am Riker rally I was just out and about riding, man, and um, came out here, man, and happened to see that boat come through. Uh, Y'all see these crackers right here? Y'all see these crackers on these rocks? They're on several rocks out here. That's for the squirrels to come and eat. They've been eating too. I guess I scared them off. But uh, I just wanted to show y'all that real quick before I get back on this road. Uh, 
hope you enjoyed the uh, review of my Rurock Atlas 4.0 as you can see right here chilling sorry about my hand in the shot there didn't feel like hooking up the selfie stick or whatever but uh yeah man that's it please don't forget to hit that like button smash that subscribe button tap that notification bell so you will know when future videos are coming i'm gonna put my gopro back on my handlebars and we're gonna be out just wanted to show that to you real quick before i ended the video um whatever you guys choose to do today please do it safely i want to see you again all right so as always watch out for that black ice on the road Arrington all day. Deuces.